Hi, it's Dawn. I just want to give you a quick little word about the new ProSearch, which has replaced Access Find. As many of you know, Access Find was always provided to us by Realtor.com because Realtor.com has over 20 years. They've been collecting MLS listing data, sold data, property record data for more than 20 years. So they undoubtedly have more data than you know any place in the world and they have it from every MLS in the country. And they, and they always have, which is what makes it so great. So they've always uh, supplied us with Find, but Find was made maybe eight to 10 years ago. And we've had it the entire time. We love it, it's a great program, but it never worked on mobile. So it had some issues and they couldn't really keep it updated because it, it wasn't really modern enough to do so. So they had to remake it and they remade it and now they're calling it professional search. You can still get to it by clicking on access find right from your New York state or my state MLS quick search bar or the regular search bar. And you'll see that it says professional search when it comes up. And first it may ask you actually for your email address. So just put that in, just put it in the first time. They need that just so they, they can attach an email address for when you send listings to customers. With this little search bar here, you can just type, um, I was doing a search in Brooklyn, New York for sold uh, properties that were three bedroom, two bath. This works just like the old find bar at the top. It's just, it just goes to a different screen to try to make it, you know, easier for new users who, who aren't used to that look. Uh, so Brooklyn, New York sold three bedroom, two bath, and I'll just put in multifamily just to add something and I will hit enter or search. And as you'll see, I got what I asked for three bedroom plus two bath plus multifamily plus sold in the last year in Brooklyn, New York. I could change the sold criteria. I actually didn't put in, I didn't specify. So it gave me sold in the last year, but if I click up at the top, uh, I can change it for sale or for rent or sold in any uh, amount, or I can do sold in a date. And even though it says sold in the last 10 years, it just seems to be how far it goes. I've seen sold as much as almost 20 years, sold data on the off-market properties. So this has tons and tons and tons of data. It came up for me in a list, but it could have come up for me in a map. I can toggle between a map and a list. If I, I'm on the map and I'm on a full screen, then I just get the map and I get the properties over here. If I'm on a phone, I just get the map by itself. I love using this on my phone. I've been just like sitting on my couch at night looking for properties and it's so easy to use. Cause like when I first saw it, I was like, oh God, they're changing find. Man, I hope it doesn't suck. And they, they've not disappointed me so far. Um, at first I was like, I'm not sure how to use it. It's a little different. But then I started using it and I really like it. I really do. I love this uh, map feature where I can just click around on the different properties and get the sold information. So I'm just going to click on this particular listing and open it up so we can see what a listing looks like. The new listings, uh, they put the sold information here at the top right underneath the photo. Uh, below that, they put the sold date. Below that, they put the owner or who purchased the property. They put the mortgage amount, uh, the amount that they took on a mortgage. If you want to view it on regular Realtor.com and just see what the public sees, you can click on this button here. The public sees a lot less than you do. Your new pro search is going to give you all the previous listing data, the previous photo data, and all of the information regarding the sale. When you first scroll down, there's a property overview. Um, it tells you it's a multifamily home, what year it was built. Uh, this information here, the property overview, is directly from the listing. That's the listing remarks. It tells you that um, it's 134 days on the market uh, until it's sold from start to finish. It tells you that it's been 22 days since it's sold. You can see how recent that that is. And it also tells you that it's in a neighborhood where the median price is $654,000. And this one sold obviously for $1.575 million. Obviously up here you have all of your data about the property. So as you start to scroll, you don't lose that. And also as you start to scroll, you can see that it turns into tabs, property details, public record tab, property history tab, school and neighborhood tab, and community info tab. If you remember the old find had something similar with tabs. They had a property history tab. They had a public record tab and they had a property details tab. That property details 
and also uh, pertain to if the listing was currently active. So in this instance, this property sold very recently and is not currently active for sale or rent again. As I scroll down, I can see all the listing information in a format that's pretty similar to a listing that I would see on, uh, let's say, New York State MLS uh, data about the property and the way that it's broken up. I have, uh, as I scroll down, I can see annual tax amount. I can see uh, information about the neighborhood. I can see information about the sale date, the sale price, the agent only data, all the private data. I can see um, the broker who listed it. And if a different broker had also sold it, that information would be here as well. So you see both sides of the deal. As I go down, I can see uh, the public records on the property and the legal and miscellaneous information. And then I can start to see the price, the price and uh, tax history. And that price and tax history is going to give me pretty much what the old find gave me, which was where the MLS listing came from and what the MLS number was, what the price was, and every single change that happened to that property. Uh, and that will be here in, in this grid. Below there, I can see property tax information. I can see all the previous years. This is an improvement over the old find. In the old find, I could only see the most recent tax year. Uh, in this new version, I can see previous tax years. Uh, as I scroll down and I get to the property history tab, I can see, and I really love this view. This view is so cool. I like, I like to figure out um, you know, these little plus signs with the circles. If you click on them, they're gonna drop down the previous listing information, photos, who listed it, and also what the marketing text was at that time. What I love about that is the previous photos are now on the same exact tab as the history tab. Like, so before we had to switch back and forth between tabs, like the history tab and the photo tab. We don't have to do that anymore. We can just click this little plus button here and then the photos will pop up. So as I click the, uh, these little plus buttons and the photos pop up, I can see what they looked like before. I can also see any comments. And if there was no photos and I click the button, you'll just see marketing text. This was an old 2013 rental listing. So that information is there. And then it tells me that way back in 2011, it sold for $625,000. So there's full information here on the listing. As I go down, it wants to show me all the comps. That's right, you guys, it populates the comps for you without you doing anything. All you have to do is scroll lower and there are your comps, sold and active, by the way. And this is great, I love this, I've been using this. I've comped several properties so much easier than I did with the old find and all because of this map feature here. So for instance, I like this comp, I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna open it up, it opens up in a new tab so I don't lose my old one. I love that too. And now I go over to the new tab. I can print it or share it. I can manually enter it into my New York State MLS CMA. I've got full photos right there at the top. And if I'm on mobile, I can see them as well. I can see the owner, the mortgage information, when it sold, very recent. Look at all the recent comps that it gave me. This is a great comp. How do I know that that property was worth the money? When right nearby, this one very similar, sold for just a little bit more. And here's all the information about it. Here's my days on market. Here's my property information. And I have the same information here that I had on the other listing. And I go down, I've got my property history, I've got my schools, and I've got my map. And I can continue picking comps from this map, or I can go back to the, the property, uh, property I was on before, and I can go back and I can continue to comp my property from this map. I love this new map feature. As you move it, it will populate um, the listings that sold in the area that you're now searching. So you say, oh, well, you know, I want to go a little north of there, move the, move the map a little, click on a different listing, open it up, and there's my comp. So yeah, you really don't have to do a whole lot. It's basically giving you the comps in that map without you doing anything. You do have to make, you know, your own informed decisions about the comps, but it really is a great tool. So that's what I love, some, just some quick information for you for what I love about the new professional search. You can still save searches, you can still save listings, you can print listings, you can share listings, and everything that you uh, want to save to your account goes up here where your name is. If you click it uh, on this button here, 
it will bring you up to your saved homes, your saved properties, and your saved searches. And then if you click on it, it'll open up in a new tab. Uh, any searches you've saved, I haven't saved any yet, or any properties you've saved. And you'll be able to toggle between those. And then you can just go back to where you are. All right, that's the new pro search. As you know, we here at the MLS will give you private tours. So if you're having trouble or you're struggling or you just want to know how to use this new great tool, give us a call at the MLS or chat with us online and we will be happy to do a screen share with you and show you how to do it.